and welcome back to my tech wardrobe. My name is Caitlin and I make weekly fashion videos that are actually relatable. Have you ever worn an outfit that you thought was okay and then you look at a photo of yourself in that outfit later and you go, that does not look good. The reason for that is almost always two things, fit and styling. A lot of people think that you cannot have a proper style or style things properly unless it fits you exactly well. None of my clothes fit properly. Despite being someone who is very into fashion and very involved in that space, I just can't find clothes that fit exactly right. And I'm sure that none of you can either because who knew bodies are all different and standardized sizing doesn't always accommodate everyone. I have a wide range of sizes from smaller to larger and I wear them all in different ways and they're not all exactly custom tailored to me. So when I see all of these videos about how to look luxury or how to look expensive, it always includes a tip to get your clothing tailored. And while I think that is a great option for people who have copious amounts of time and extra disposable income to do that, not all of us do. My tips today are going to be focused on how to look better in your clothes without actually having to make any major structural changes to those clothes. All right, Tan France is on to something. Tucking in of your shirt of any kind is generally the way to go when it comes to something like a button up like this, when it comes to a graphic tee under a blazer. There is not many things that a tucked in shirt can't fix, in my opinion, fashion wise. Tucking in your shirt has the incredible ability to make your legs seem longer, to show off your pants in a better way, to make you look taller if you happen to be very petite, like me. I don't think I've gone a day in the last maybe four years without tucking in my shirt of any kind because I just think it's such a valuable way to make it look as though your shirt fits you better than it actually does. So here are some examples of exactly what that looks like. This outfit is kind of plain without the shirt tucked in. There's not really much I can do with it because it's making my legs look a little bit short. And that's not a bad thing if you don't mind that, but I personally feel inside like I'm six feet tall. So I wanna be able to embody that in my daily life. So I just do a little half tuck at the front of my pants to uh, sort of make myself feel and look a lot taller and it actually goes a step further and makes you feel and look a little bit more put together in general and actually like you spent way more time on your outfit than you did. I mean granted it does take a little bit of time to figure out how to tuck in a chunky sweater into a skirt for example but it's a very good way to just feel a little bit more polished without doing any tailoring whatsoever. <laughs> I sound like a school principal. Tuck your shirt sit. Next one is pretty much a given, but do not be afraid to roll things like your sleeves or your pants and cuff them at the bottom. I know that most of my button up shirts, because again, I'm very petite, the sleeves are too long or weirdly, they're too short. So if I go for a smaller size or something in a petite section, I'm 5'4". So I'm kind of in that weird space between too big for petite, too small for regular. So when those sleeves are either too long or too short, the best option really in both cases is just to roll them up. This can help make, again, your outfit look a lot more polished and put together, like you spent more time on it. And also it just simply makes it look like the shirt also fits you better, even if the shoulders are a little bit too big. I do this a lot with button up shirts. I do this a lot with crew necks actually. And it doesn't have to be a full roll up of your sleeves. You can actually just scrunch it up and it looks pretty good. There are a lot of options for you to choose from. And I think beyond that sort of scrunched or rolled sleeve looking too casual, I think it actually bumps up the fancy factor of what you're wearing. And who doesn't like to show a little forearm now and then? Am I right? Cuffing your jeans or pants is actually pretty controversial because some people say it makes you look shorter, but I 
think paired with the right footwear, it actually looks like it's a style choice. You can pretend that you just bought the pants like that on purpose and you're not just too short to fit in them. So lots of good options without having to go and get them hemmed because I just, again, I just don't have time for that. Just experiment with layers. Just because a shirt is too big for you when you wear it closed, doesn't mean it might not look right when it's unbuttoned over top of a graphic tee, for example. There are multiple ways to use layers to your benefit. If you have a shirt that's too big or a little bit ill-fitting, for example, you can always put a crop jacket on top to sort of enhance your silhouette tuck in that shirt and then make it look as though the shirt fits better than it does. The opposite is true as well. If you have a shirt that's a little bit too small, maybe the buttons don't uh, quite fit over, you know, more, more fortunate ladies <laughs> than myself in the uh, chest department. If you have buttons that are pulling, just wear the shirt open or the dress open over a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. There are multiple ways to get more use out of your clothing, and that could come in a variety of ways. So experiment with those layers and use the top layers to give you a little bit more shape in your outfit overall and enhance the parts of yourself that you love most. So for me, I like my sort of hourglass shape and I, I really like to emphasize my waist. So when I'm looking to layer up and do something interesting with layers in terms of styling, I usually find a way to nip in my waist, but maybe it's your shoulders that you love. Maybe you love your booty, who knows? <laughs> if you do, I'm very, um, I'm, I'm jealous of you. <laughs> Try adding a strategic pop of color to your outfit somewhere. In a couple of my most favorite pieces, maybe the waist doesn't fit just right, or maybe there's a bit at the shoulder that's just a little bit too big. What I do to sort of de-emphasize those things that I don't like about the fit is add a strategic pop of color somewhere else. So if I'm wearing a pair of shorts, for example, that are a little bit ill-fitting at the waist or maybe they're too small, I add a belt to that to make it look as though it fits just a little bit better than it does. You can also consider adding a pop of color on the bottom if you're wearing a shirt that you're not as happy with on the top. So there are ways to have that color be the focal point. And if your shoulder seam is a little bit off your shoulder and your shirt doesn't fit quite right, it's not going to be as apparent because the focal point is really, for example, on your colorful pants. There are ways to draw attention to different parts of your outfit that you actually want emphasized. So here are a couple of ways that I tend to do that with color blocking also. I use color blocking I mean, because I am obsessed with color, but also because it is a very strategic way to draw the eye to the places that you actually want it to be. Last is to wear the right shoes. I can't emphasize this enough. I have seen people wear really stellar outfits and then the shoe just kind of lets it down. Sometimes that just means it makes your leg look a bit too short, or maybe your shoes like cut off your feet at a weird angle and then the whole line of the outfit just doesn't make sense. When you're picking shoes, think about a couple of things. Does the shoe match the line of your bottom half, essentially? So if you're wearing black pants, are you wearing black shoes? Maybe that is a way to sort of elongate the leg. And these are pretty standard tips, but I think the right shoe can elevate an entire outfit, even if it's not exactly tailored to how you want it to be. The right shoe, for example, a really, really small wedge, can actually lift up your whole body and help your posture change a little bit. So if you're wearing a shirt that's a little bit too big or too small, once that posture change happens with a better pair of shoes, you actually fill out that outfit a little bit more and just generally look better. Here are some examples of the right shoe versus the wrong shoe. You'll notice that the right shoe tends to bring the whole outfit together. It brings either a focal point to the whole outfit 
or it essentially elongates you very effectively. The wrong shoe will cut you off exactly at the wrong place, make you look shorter than you are, and generally not bring the outfit together as well as it could be. It was a little bit of a weird video. I mean, <laughs> I don't really know of anyone who just straight up tells you not to get your clothing tailored. I'm not exactly saying that, but I think you do need to just work within your means and get a little creative with how you style things. I hope these tips have helped you do that. And just remember, if you have to roll or tuck or fold something to make it work for you and you still love that piece and you feel really good in it, just do it. You can wear whatever you want at the end of the day. Don't forget to also check out more of my how-to videos in my how-to playlist linked in the description box below because I'm starting to build out a little bit more of my how-to and styling tips. So if there are any other styling tips that you want a video on, drop a comment in the comments below so that I know what you're looking for. Do you want to know how to style party dresses? Do you want to know how to style denim shorts? What do you want? Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway, because it could be different next time. Bye. Will I ever find a decent backdrop for these videos in my house? I do not know. This middle part, I'm telling you. Is it even a middle part? Do I have a symmetrical head? I don't think I do.